Mirfak Audio, the CC sound company from Moza, is trying to get a piece of the sound pie on the microphone world. Today, we're going to have a look at the dual transmitter wireless microphone system from Mirfak. Welcome to the review of the Mirfak WE10 Pro wireless microphone system. Hello, Tiago here. Welcome. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of tech reviews and unboxings like this one. If it's something that interests you, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. With this said, let's start the review of the Mirfak WE10 Pro. Starting with the price, the WE10 Pro comes at £180.29 and the WE10 at £122.59. Like always, I will leave links in the video description, please check them out for best price. So let's see what is in the box. The transmitter and two receivers, 2.5mm camera cable and a 2.5mm smartphone cable. A USB-A to three USB-C charging cables, so you'll be able to charge two receivers and the transmitter at the same time. Great on here. Two lav mics and two wind muffs attachments for the two transmitters, a pouch and a manual. When you take the receiver and the transmitters from the box, you can see that they are made of plastic, but they feel strong and not cheap at all. The transmitters have a built-in mic on top, a belt clip on the back, on the left side you have the power button, three LED lights and a lav mic input. On the right side we have the feature that makes this system stand out, a SD card slot. So you can have a backup of your recordings using a SD card up to 64GB. We have also a button to stop or record the backup sound and a USB charging port. Moving on to the receiver, on the front you have a bright OLED screen with all the basic info. You have connection status battery level, audio level, low cut filter, status and level of decibels. On the left side there is a power button, the headphone monitoring jack and the line out for the camera. On the right side there is the decibel adjustments, the mute control, the low cut filter where you can switch between 0 Hz, 170 Hz and 230 Hz and the USB-C port for charging. Next, we're going to test the WE10 Pro inside and outside. Please keep in mind that this system was made for recording inside like when you're interviewing someone, but I will test it outside as well, so please be the judge on the testing next. Right guys, so now I'm testing the microphone inside of the house and I'm using the, this one, this is the second one. As you guys can see, I'm using it without um, the microphone, the lav microphone, I will test that in a second. It's a bit big and as you guys can see, it comes forward sometimes, I have to look like that. Uh, so I don't know how good or bad the sound will be. Uh, so guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the sound. I will listen to the sound and I'll um, make a comment about the sound in the end of the video. So this is the Mirfak Audio Dual Transmitter Wireless Microphone System. Um, small, uh, with possibility to record on the SD card, like I said before, so you guys know all about that. So this is just for me to talk so you guys listen to the sound. And that's it guys, so I'm going to swap uh, to the love microphone. Right guys, so let me know what you guys think about the sound now. It got better, it got worse, let me know in the comments. And from now, we're going to go outside, we're going to do the sound test outside. It's windy, it's raining, it's summer in England. So uh, be prepared to use, well, if you work in England, if you, work in, if you live in England, or whatever you do in England, just be prepared to use... Um, one of those. I really don't know how to use them. I think they go on top. Yeah, I think they go on top. Like so, maybe? I don't know. Strange. They're too big, to be fair. So, 
I'm assuming they will go on top of this because the microphone is on top. So, okay. Yeah, that's it. They'll go on top. I'll be doing a close up so you guys can see it properly. So they'll go on top and so you're going to be wearing something like that on your chest and hopefully this cover for the outside wind. Let's have a look. Oh, here yeah, we got the second one. We got the second one. Let's have a look. So I'm not missing that. Yeah, it's for the second one. So it's not wind cover for the lav microphone. Okay, I know they got the foam, but sometimes it's good to have a deck cat for the lav microphone as well. They don't provide that. Okay, fair enough. Right, let's go outside and see how the sound performs outside, guys. Right, guys, so I'm now outside. I'm testing the um, WET, WE10 Pro uh, from Mifark. This is the outside test. I'm using the lav microphone and it's windy. So let me know what you guys think about the, uh, the sound on the comments. As you can see, it's a bit windy and I'm moving around. And what do you guys think? Is the sound any good? Probably a bit echoey because of the houses on the back. But yeah, so let me see if I turn my back, if the sound drops, let me know what you guys think. And dropping on the sound. I'm now moving to the built-in microphone. Again, I'm testing the outside uh, sound and I'm using the built-in microphone now. What do you guys think? Let me know if there's any changes on the sound. And yeah, I'm going to turn my back now and see if there's any dropping on the sound. Let me know. Is there any droppings when you're back or when you move around? Like I'm going to go here. I don't know if you guys can see me, but I'm going back and and yeah, let me know if there's any dropping on the sound. And now I'm going to do one last test. I'm going to go around 30 meters and we're going to do the range test and see if there's any dropping on the sound and if it goes to the 30 meters like they say. Right guys, so now I'm going to do the range uh, test. I'm using the in uh, built-in microphone. I forgot something. And as you guys can see, it's windy now. And let's see if there's any difference using the dead cat that they provide. One eternity later. Right guys, so now I have the dead cat and it goes forward, like I said, it's too heavy. Another thing, this dead cat is so hard to put, in, um, put on and my God. Anyways, let's do the ranch test now. So I'm going to turn my back and see if you guys know any difference. Yeah, I'm going to and you guys get now, yeah. Stop around here. Shooting or something like uh, need to be far. It's windy, so I'm going to check the sound inside and see how it goes. See if any droppings or not, and I will let you know. And guys, please let me know in the comments what you guys think about this sound with the dead cat. Okay, guys, I'll see you inside on the review. So guys, you have seen all the testing and in my opinion, the only drawback is the fact that the sound on the backup recording is always the same. Even if you change the settings, the sound will be the same. Talking about the testing, this mic system it was made for interviews inside of a studio and for that works great. So this is a solid wireless mic system with a great sound inside and outside, as long as you use it outside just for vlogging. It's priced a little bit lower than the competition, have a bit in backup recording that in my opinion needs some work. And with all this said, I still think that this system has potential. Let's not forget that this company is only starting now on the microphone world and what a great start. And that's all for today guys. Thanks for watching this video and if you like the video, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thiago here, have a nice day and I'll catch you later.